welcome back to my video my name is Alex and today I have a really exciting video for you I want to teach you and tell you a little bit about different exercises and tools that have helped me during panic attacks or when I have really bad anxiety so yeah if you want to learn a little bit more about how to calm yourself and deal in these hard situations just keep watching Okay, so the first thing I want to tell you is that all of these exercises that I'm telling you today, I am giving it to you because they have worked on me. I know that you might go to Google and search, you know, like how to stop or how to help with anxiety and you will find a lot of different tricks, but I really wanted to give you something that has worked for me and that I have put in practice. So I know it works, at least it has worked for me. So the first thing that I wanna tell you about is breathing exercises. Breathing is one of the most important things that you can do when you feel overwhelmed or stressed out or something is just like not going well inside of you. The one that I practice personally, it was given by my therapist and it's pretty simple. You inhale for four seconds you hold inside of you for seven seconds and exhale for eight seconds. You're gonna be doing this around three times and you don't have to be doing it all the time. However, I recommend not only doing it when you feel anxious and really stressed out, but do it when you're calm, when you are working or just chilling around your house. Because the way I see it, the more you practice these exercises, not only when you're feeling bad, but also when you're calm, your body is gonna get more used to it and it's gonna help you more in the situations that you're gonna need it the most. So I try to do this every morning when I wake up and I'm feeding my dogs before I start my day, before I start working. I just take a little bit of time, relax, and start practicing breathing exercises. Another really good one is do it touching your with your hands, your belly, and your chest, and that way you feel the air going in and going out. So you connect not only with your breathing, but also with your body. And this is gonna help you a lot, trust me. Since I start practicing breathing exercises, it has been really easy for me to calm down during my panic attacks because I guess my body is getting used to it. So, so it's easier for me to settle down and don't lose control over my body. The second exercise that I wanna teach you is something that at the beginning was really hard for me and is grounding exercises. Grounding exercises are incredibly important because most of the time when we feel anxious is because we think about things in the future that scare us. In my, in my case, like I told you before, I'm afraid of death. So my mind just starts going there and I feel really anxious thinking about it, thinking about dying and all of that. So the best thing that you can do is reminding yourself that you're present you are right here right now and a good way to do that is with grounding so there's different ways that you can do it but the best way to do it is just making sure that your senses are active and that you're touching something that makes you feel good like right now i'm touching my dog right here or you're smelling something that makes you feel good tasting something that you like watching something that you enjoy this way your senses are going to be active and you're going to be present in the time and your mind is not going to be scared or overwhelmed about what is going to happen in the future so like i said there's different type of grounding exercises i found some for you that are five things that you can see three things that you can hear so just close your eyes and you start paying attention to what is around you and what you can hear four things that you can touch you can touch your pets you can touch your partner you like some kind of texture you can go for it something that is gonna make you feel good two things that you can smell if you love essential oils or there's certain kind of flowers or any kind of a smell that brings you joy and happiness try to have that around you for example i have like a humifier for essential oils at night and that relaxes me and makes me feel really well so you can try that and one thing that you can taste so so that's the moment where you can go for your favorite snack 
for a little piece of chocolate for some fruit for something that is gonna make you feel way better and present in the moment and don't let your mind get the best of you so the third exercise that I want to teach you about is mindfulness I'm sure that you have heard about this before if you haven't this is the awareness of the present moment. Like I was telling you before we're grounding, making sure that you know you are right here present and you're okay and you're gonna be fine. You can acknowledge the way that your body is feeling. So you can just close your eyes and think about how your body feels, how you feel emotionally. If your body hurts, there's certainly part of you that is hurting or your mind is actually the one that you're having trouble with. The mindfulness is your relationship and you acknowledge with your body and yourself to know how are you feeling? Am I feeling calm? Am I feeling anxious? And control it the best you can, even though I know it can be really hard. The fourth exercise that is actually my favorite and I just learned recently, it really changed the way that I was seeing things. It was during a session that I had with my therapist that I was going through a really hard time, really negative. My mindset was just not right. And she taught me, let's take everything that you're feeling and flip it to a positive view. For example, I was telling her, I am scared of dying and not being here anymore. Flip it. However, I'm so grateful I'm right here right now and I'm able to talk to you and teach you all these different exercises. I'm really scared of one day not seeing my family. That's why every single day I tell them how much I love them and enjoy every second I have with them. So you start to see everything that is making you feel bad and all these negative thoughts, you're gonna flip them in something so positive that is gonna make you feel so good. For example, being in quarantine with your family. You are locked down at home and maybe you cannot go out with your friends, but you can stay at home with your parents and talk to them and play board games or teach them a TikTok dance. There's so many ways that you can use all the bad things that happen in your life and flip them in something positive. And trust me, this is gonna change the entire way that you see life. The fifth exercise that I want to teach you, and it's not much like an exercise, but I'm talking about journaling and writing or finding any kind of activities that keeps your mind grounded, that keeps you active, that doesn't let you just sit down and get lost in your thoughts, but actually you're busy doing something that you enjoy. In my case, I first started with a journal, then I went for a blog that you can find on the box below, and next I started with YouTube. And you have no idea how much this helps you because not only you're finally being able to express yourself and take out of your system all the different ways that you feel but at the same time you can be sharing it with other people that might be going through the same and for example in my experience thanks to my blog i have been in contact with a lot of friends that i didn't know that were going through the same than me and now we can help each other and even if you don't want to start a blog or a youtube channel because you want to keep it for yourself try to start a journal i think that is so helpful for you to every single night or morning whenever you decide just go there and write down your feelings write down how you feel and this is gonna help you in so many different ways because not only you're being aware and accepting the way you feel but at the same time you can start making lists about how do you want to feel next and goals and a purpose of I want to be better for example when I started my goal was being able to have less panic attacks every day and it has been really good sometimes I have them sometimes I don't but if you put goals and if you really write down what you want to do it's definitely gonna be something helpful the next thing that I want to talk to you this is not an exercise but it's also something that can help you a lot and it's different sources that you can find online thanks to the internet and they are right there for us to help us in really hard moments I'm talking right now about the app Headspace I don't know if you have heard about it my sister showed it to me and I fell in love with it they have different kind of therapy sessions or like little videos that they teach you about grounding mindfulness breathing exercises and they have for different situations if you feel stressed out 
if you cannot sleep, if you are on a plane and you're scared of flying, all of them are right there for you. And you can just, I listen to them before I go to sleep and they help me so much. They have group sessions every single day where you can meditate with other people in the same app. And I think it's amazing. I really recommend you downloading the app. It's a free app, but there are certainly videos and certainly features that you do have to pay. I personally think that it's worth it, but that's up to you. If you want to use the free version, it still has amazing things. So yeah, go to Headspace. I'm going to link it below in the box for you. And please let me know if you try it and how you feel about it. And now last but not least, I think that it's really important for you to understand that you can not only focus on your mind, but you need to work out on your body too. If your body feels good, your mind feels good. And that's why I really recommend working out or practicing different exercises that will make you feel active and will help you with your heart rate and breathing. So a lot of people like to go to the gym. I know some people that don't like going to the gym, so they practice, they work out at home or there's people that love yoga and yoga I have heard is really good for a lot of people. Unfortunately, it hasn't worked for me, but I know a lot of people that it works for them. So just keep your body moving. Just keep yourself active because if your body's active, your mind is active. And that's something that you really need to connect your body and your mind because one cannot be okay without the other. So that's it guys, those are the five and two bonus exercises that I had for you. I hope you put these ones on practice. I hope they work for you. And if they don't, there's so many other options that you can find. Just make sure that you know there's always help and you can always be better and you will always be better. So work on yourself, love yourself. It doesn't matter what you go through. You are amazing and you're gonna be fine. And I think that everything starts on yourself and if you work hard on your mind and you work hard on your body everything is gonna get way easier for you so if you have any exercises or any tips that you want to share with me i would love to hear them uh, you can comment down below you can like this video and share it if you like it will help me a lot there's also the little bell that you can activate if you want to know when i post new videos and yeah guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate you being with me on this journey once again and i hope to see you in the next video bye